out to me on your my pronouns are she and her and welcome back to my channel for my april tbr which i decided to pre-film at the beginning of february so i have no idea how my march reading month actually went but i hope that it went well so yeah i have high expectations for april as a reading month as well so let's just get started the first book on this list is called Alusha and the Nectar of Immortality. This book comes out the 5th of April, and I'm so excited for it. This book was one of my most anticipated 2022 new releases, because this book is a middle age fantasy conclusion to the series that I've been keeping up with since it came out with the first book five years ago. So, this author is so talented. I know that most people associate her with the Gilded Wolves trilogy, which, don't get me wrong, is super great. But this series was my introduction to her, and this series has been so good. Each of the books keeps getting better and better and better. And since this book is the conclusion, I am certain that it will be so good and so much better than the fourth book, which says a lot because the fourth book was also so good. Anyway, basically I have very high expectations for this book because I've kept up with this series since the day that it came out. And I'm so excited to revisit these characters in this world again. So like I mentioned, this book comes out in the beginning of April on the 5th and I'm very, very excited. The next book on this list is called It's the End of the World in, a, in My Bathing Suit. This book is a middle grade contemporary and it comes out the 5th of April as well. And I'm so excited for this book. I've talked about this book twice before on my channel in my most anticipated middle grade releases of 2022, which is a video that I made in like November or October of last year, as well as in my most anticipated black 2022 releases, which is a video that you watched two months ago and I filmed like two weeks ago. But anyway, I'm so excited to read this book because it sounds so awesome. It basically follows a young black boy and his friends as they discover that they are the only people left in the world, which sounds so terrifying, but also so cool. And I believe that this is the author's middle grade debut because he's more known for his previous YA books, Opposite of Always and Early Departures, which I really, really liked. So naturally, I have really high expectations for this book because his books previously were so good and so creative and inventive that I know that this book is going to be so good and so awesome. So anyway, like I mentioned, I'm so excited for this book and it comes out the 5th of April. So please keep your eyes peeled. The next book on this list is called This Rebel Halt. This book is a YA historical fiction set in 1956, set in post-World War II communist Budapest during the Hungarian Revolution, if I'm not mistaken, and it comes out the 5th of April. I'm so excited to read this book because it sounds so awesome and so cool. I believe this book is also queer, but even if it isn't, it still sounds so cool. Because first of all, I know nothing about this time period, so I'm really hoping that this story will be educational, excellent, and emotional. Second of all, this cover is so pretty. It's so pretty and it's absolutely so intriguing that I really hope that the story inside is also just as intriguing and awesome. This book sounds like it's going to be so cool and honestly I wish I knew more about the synopsis. I think this book also may have an element of historical fantasy or magical realism to it so that's also very very exciting. But anyway I'm so excited for this book and I'm really looking forward to it so keep your eyes peeled. The next book on this list is called The Tarnished Garden. This book also comes out the 5th of April, and it's a middle grade historical fantasy companion novel to The Gilded Girl. Similarly to It's the End of the World and I'm in My Bathing Suit, I also mentioned this book in my most anticipated 2022 middle grade releases video, which is a video that I think that I made in October or November of last year. But anyway, I'm so excited to read this book because The Gilded girl was literally so good and it was so cute and it was absolutely so wholesome so now i have really high expectations for this book because it sounds so cute first of all the cover is so pretty 
and it's so cute. I really, really hope the story inside is also so pretty and so cute because the Gilded Girl was literally so wholesome and it was so well done. I really, really hope that this book is just as good, if not better. So anyway, this book comes out the 5th of April and I'm very, very excited for it. The next book on this list is called An Arrow to the Moon. Similarly to Alu Shaw, this book is one of my most anticipated 2022 new releases, and it comes out the 12th of April, and I'm so excited for it. It's a YA magical realism, Romeo and Juliet retelling with Chinese mythology, which sounds so cool and so awesome, but I would have picked it up this book anyway regardless of the synopsis or the genre or anything because it's written by the same author who wrote the astonishing color of after which was so awesome and so well done so naturally i have very very high expectations for this book because it sounds so cool and so well done magical realism for me as a genre is typically hit or miss but the astonishing color of after was so amazing and so awesome. So I expect that this book will be not only at least four stars, but if not five. You know what I mean? Like I'm really thinking that this book will be a new favorite. If it's not, I will be disappointed. Anyway, this book sounds like it's going to be so cool and so awesome, and I have really, really high expectations. So with that, I'm really, really looking forward to it. The next book on this list is called The Genesis Wars. This book comes out the 19th of April, and if you didn't know, this book is a YA science fiction sequel to The Infinity Courts, which was one of my most anticipated 2021 new releases, and it's written by one of my favorite authors, so naturally I have very, very high expectations for this sequel, because it's going to be so good. It better be, because the first book was so awesome, and it was so inventive, and it was absolutely so thrilling, so I'm absolutely so excited for the sequel and i also believe that the sequel is the second book in a trilogy i think i can't remember if this series is going to be a duology or a trilogy but at any rate i have very very high expectations for this book because this author is literally so so talented i love her books so much her writing is so lyrical and it's so well done and the infinity course was her science fiction debut and she did such a good job with it so now i have very very high expectations for this book because it's going to be so good and so awesome so anyway like i mentioned earlier this book comes out the 19th of april and i have very high expectations for it the last book on this list and certainly not the least is called every word you never said this book comes out the 26th of april and it's a ya queer contemporary following two boys who are navigating high school their feelings and their first relationship while also navigating negativity from closed-minded people. This book sounds like it's going to be so awesome and so fluffy and cute while also being angsty. And I believe this book also has disability representation in it. So I really, really hope this book lives up to my very, very high expectation. Like this book sounds like it's going to be so awesome and so well done. I also hold that it has transgender and pansexual representation, so that's real to see. I really, really hope this book is so awesome and so well done, because it sounds like it's going to be so cool and so awesome, which I can't stop seeing. So anyway, I really, really hope this book is really good, and it's as good as I'm really hoping that it will be. So yeah. I have very high expectations and I'm really, really looking forward to this book, so there you have it. So in conclusion, I have very high expectations for my April reading month and I really hope that these books live up to those expectations. So anyway, if you enjoy this video, please don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below the unicorn emoji if you made it all the way to the end of the video. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!